Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another brand new episode of Collider Games Podcast. My name is Dennis, and in studio, <laughs> we've got Hello. Caboose I'm in here. person. So, like, you're in the middle again. Yeah. But this time it's not on Skype. It's you're here. Literally, I'm here. here. Your yes. first time. You've been to the studio before, but this is the first time you. You're in the podcast That's right. room with us doing the, doing this uh, games podcast, which is Pretty great. Pretty surreal. I, I've been watching content from this room for a while now. Nice. Now I'm like here. You yes. Know? And it's then, pretty cool. And then also here, as always, uh, Dorian. What up, guys? What up? So this has been an eventful week for us here at Collider Games, yes. during, like, especially because it's not E3. But yeah. we, we had like three different like uh, game events. Uh, no, four different game events that we covered yeah. this week that um, some people may know about, some don't, um, and we're going to talk about it. But we had the Mortal Kombat 11 event that you mm-hmm. two talked uh, went to, and we'll talk about uh, actually as our main topic. Uh, we covered the Star Wars uh, The Void VR experience, which is called Star Wars uh, The Secret uh, Secrets of the Empire. Uh, we did that with Sam Witwer and Jeff Dye and nice. uh, Christian, Christian from Jedi Council. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, you guys went to a, a Rage 2 event, which I don't know. Yeah, are you allowed to talk about un- that today? We're under embargo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We can, well, we'll shoot a separate yeah, video we'll, for we'll that shoot. that yeah. they'll release. But you guys went to that. And then we also, me and Copser, went to do a preview and an interview with the Resident Evil 2 remake mm. developers oh, nice. on Tuesday. So. Nice. Yeah, a lot of it's been a lot of a lot of a lot of video game stuff picking it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So l- let's get it started. Uh, I I wanted to go to this event. It right. sounded like a lot of fun. Yeah, but I, I had to go to the Star Wars uh, VR thing to co- to cover that. So what was your overall thoughts? I know we have some videos on the website about your first impressions and a recap mm-hmm. and and stuff like that. But what are your overall thoughts of the event in general? I mean, it, okay. First of all, I have to I have to give a warning. My I might my voice might crack okay. because we were like screaming. It yeah. was a rock concert in there. Once they first showed that gameplay trailer mm-hmm. where we got our first look at the game, it was like people were losing their minds. You know, mm-hmm. and and I think a lot of it has to do with the way that NetherRealm has marketed their games in the past. Usually, they show the game like a good year before it's out. Mm-hmm. You know, so we get some stuff at E three. And then there's a little bit of a dry spell until we get closer to the release and then they start ramping up the marketing. This time around, Mortal Kombat 11 is released or revealed at the Game Awards, like Mm -hmm. four months before it's out. So this was like, everyone was ready, everyone was excited because right after that reveal trailer, they were like, don't worry, in a month from now, we got a big reveal going. Mm -hmm. And they showed off a ton of stuff, gameplay, fatalities, new characters, a bit of the story. There was so much to see, and it was like it was almost overwhelming, you know. And, and just at one point, like I was sitting with some people, and we just kept cheering and losing our minds. <laughs> and the guy who was there, like recording the the crowd reactions, he just took his camera, got on his knee, and just parked in front of us because yes. he was like, "These are the guys right now." I heard you you showed up on the live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was nice. on the live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of times, apparently, my reaction to some certain things were were just shown. While they were filming the crowd reactions, it was great. Yeah, I had like a ton of fun. Even though when, when the when stuff was popping on the screen, yeah. Ed Boon was talking about it. You couldn't even hear Ed <laughs> because everybody everybody was screaming every time there was a reveal or something. But it was it, it was it was awesome. Mm-hmm. This was one of the coolest gaming things I've done thus far because Agreed. like the only thing I can remember was the Call of Duty one th- that we went to. The, um, mm-hmm. That that was pretty cool. But this one, like you said, it felt like a, a concert. Like yeah. you get a bunch of nerds, especially Mortal Kombat. They were all so passionate. <laughs> there were people cosplaying as some. Of their favorite characters. Oh, it, yeah. was, it was just how so many, awesome. How many people were there? About two, three hundred. Okay, ar- around there. Oh, m- way more. Bra- how, way how, way many, more. how many? How yeah, many? Yeah. I'd say like close to a thousand people. Ooh, wait, there. then I'm because there was like there was like a lot of press stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm just but talking there was about general the public as well. Yeah, was yeah. Money. I was gonna say they they were, they weren't flying a thousand people no, in there, no, 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 so no. that was general public. But like yeah. you know, I saw our boy Jeremy Johns was there. You took a picture with him, and you know, I know he came down from Seattle just for the event. You came in from Toronto just yep. for the event, yep. and so you know, obviously they they picked certain people that you know from different uh, 
that aren't local to come to, to right. this event. Right. Um, and it was cool because um, uh, while while they were doing the the appointments for people mm-hmm. to play on the actual main stage, they brought some of the pro players, pro pro players yeah. like Sonic Fox to 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 do their first exhibition matches, and ah. I got to watch that. So that was pretty cool. Sonic yeah. Sonic Fox actually did end up winning his because they did five rounds mm-hmm. apiece, and so Sonic Fox didn't end up playing his. But I think they said that his main character is going to be Rain. But they didn't. But Rain wasn't one of the options to play. It was only yeah. like Sonya Blade, so Rain, and it might and a confirm it. But as well, like I think he just said it, you uh, know, because like Sonic Fox just, just says, says what he wants to say. You know, I, I don't think that they, they got inside info. I, I wouldn't know though. I mean, there's a you good did, chance yeah. Rain will be in the game. He's been pretty highly requested. Who's your favorite that you got to play with? Out of all the people, like uh, Garrus was really cool. So Garrus is a brand new character. Yeah, I saw the, the trailer for that. Yeah, and his move set is really interesting because. It has a lot to do with him manipulating time. Mm-hmm. Like there's a move where he just literally freezes you and you're stuck in time and you can just beat on your opponent. It's super cool. And he has some like the most brutal moves in the entire game. So far, at least from what I've seen. His fatality is awesome. He was the one I was playing a lot of, but I mean, you know, nothing beats Scorpion. Mm-hmm. You know, Scorpion's a classic Sub-Zero. character. Sub Zero was in there. Um we had Scarlet, who was returning from Mortal Kombat 9. Mm-hmm. She was uh, sort of a brand new character to that game. She was in the DLC. And since then, people were wanting to see more from her character. Mm -hmm. So they brought her back. The design is a bit different. Um, I think she looks great. Mm -hmm. And her moveset is really cool. She, like, I was whooping you a little bit. She forms, like, weapons with blood and stuff. It's crazy. So, So, yeah, I mean, overall... I loved it. What, what about you? Who's your favorite? Probably either. I think Scarlet is my okay, favorite out yeah. of the, the two mm-hmm. I got to pl- uh, play with between the, them two. But yeah. I, when we were playing against each other, you I think you had Scorpion. But it took me, I think one thing, it, it took me a little bit to get used to because I came right off of Mortal Kombat X. I was literally yeah. playing the night before mm-hmm. thinking it's going to be like <laughs> sort of familiar to this yeah. one. It It is it's completely different. Super it's like different. from uh-huh. combos to... To just how they incorporate the X-ray meters, because in Mortal Kombat X, you could actually build up. Like once you start playing, you could build up to use your super move or your X-ray. And this one, you start out with your full bars, but you can't use that move until like your health is super low. To yeah. like, mm-hmm. and it's called the fatal blow now. And I think that's I, I actually like that that new change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. So the the gameplay is very different. This is the most different Mortal Kombat has been since MK9. And, you know, with with MK9 and MKX, there was like a very traditional way that everyone understood how Mortal Kombat works now. But the combat is completely different this time. So, for instance, in uh, in MK9 and MKX, you could always do this thing where if you just jumped in place and hit triangle or Y, whatever console you're playing on, if you hit your opponent, they would like bounce. Mm -hmm. And then they would be in the air and you can continue a combo. You can't do that anymore in Mortal Kombat 11. And then on top of that... Um, if you do like a special move, you know, like Sub Zero has the ice ball or the slide. You know, Scorpion has the um, the get over here mood. Um, if you were to press R two or R T, that would do an upgraded version of that. It's changed though what the input is to do an upgraded version of a special move now. So you would either have to like rapidly press a certain button or press another button with another direction. So a lot of things have changed with Mortal Kombat 11. I don't know how people are going to feel about it because now. To main a character, there's so much you have to learn, and if you want to play like three or four different characters, that's going to be difficult because mm-hmm. you don't just have to learn their move set. You got to learn the inputs to the upgraded versions of their specials. There's like there's so much to take in mind this time around. And so we, and even we didn't even talk about the the customization of stuff that yeah. that, that they added yeah. on there. That that's pretty dope. But like you, like you said, when I was playing with Scarlet, just trying to learn her moves, it, mm-hmm. it, it took me a minute. So I didn't yeah. really even get to to fully like within that 45 minutes or so. It's like we barely scratched the surface. So they give you about 45 minutes to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, 40 about 45 yeah. minutes to to test out the characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get I guess I got to How long did you play? Because you felt like sometimes like so, I guess people were in there for like <laughs> two to three hours. Just well, wait, was there someone like waiting there watching you guys play and making yeah. sure like okay your time's up you gotta leave well, or well it was it was unfortunate I guess something was up with like either the rigs that they had for the PCs and stuff because once you stopped recording mm-hmm. the, you know like with with Elgato's it has to export the video yeah, yeah. and it, it took like pretty much the duration of your recording time to export uh, so I sat there recorded for an hour stopped recording because I thought oh my appointment's done and then I waited there for another hour for my video to export so I can put it onto my USB. Yeah. So in that time, I was like, I'll just well, play the game. Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, <laughs> that was that's what I did. 
but I, so when we and we actually so when I on my session we actually played against each other a few rounds and and that's in our first impression video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you see Caboose beating me a little bit, <laughs> the reason why he's beating me is because he got a little bit more time to play in yeah. his. But I did end up whooping him a couple of times with Scarlet, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Uh, the other big news kind of coming out of there, at least that I saw on my Twitter feed, was mm -hmm. that uh, they revealed that Ronda Rousey was going to be Sonya Blade. Yeah. in the game and and you know I'd seen on Instagram before that she was going to the event I didn't know I thought she was just going as kind of like one of those like celebrity yeah. kind of yeah. sponsored type of things yeah. like hey they pay her she shows up and maybe she's a fan of the game and I didn't know she was actually in the game mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, and they have like a, a trail they had a trail they had so many trailers it wasn't like oh here's like one trailer it's like here's the gameplay trailer here's the story prologue trailer here's the fatalities trailer they had a Sonya Blade trailer yeah and seeing her, I thought her fatality was pretty cool. Like she, uh, like ki kicking up someone in there and shooting the so guns good. and the helicopter <laughs> blades. So well, how 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 was the the room when Ronda Rousey came out? It was pretty. It was yeah. pretty hype. For, yeah, it was pretty hype for because I think a lot of the the deeper Mortal Kombat fans that are that have been keeping up with the news and stuff, I think they kind of expected knew it, and knew, yeah. knew that she was going to be voicing yeah. it. But there was still a, a warm welcome for her, and when, especially when she walked out yeah. on stage, I, I, it was it, she she was welcome with warm arms. The and, crowd was in it; like mm -hmm. they could have just said, "Hey, like we have a pencil in Mortal Kombat 11." People would have <laughs> yeah. lost their mind. Like it just it didn't matter at that point. Everyone was just so hyped up. So, mm -hmm. yeah, when she when she came out, everyone was really excited, and they showed a little behind the scenes trailer of uh, of her doing some of the voice work. And yeah, yeah, it's really cool. You know, Sonya Blade's one of the original badasses in video games. And um, and she, yeah, and she seemed and she seemed like she was passionate yeah. about it too because yeah. she, she played. Yeah, yeah, she played. Yeah, and yeah. she said she would. She actually uh, would. She watched some of Sonya's moves and would try to re recreate those herself. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I could start. I could rip somebody's arm off if I yeah. really wanted to. So it was pretty cool. Well, it's funny enough. Like in Sonya Blade's move set now, she has the uh, the, the arm bar. Yeah, I saw so that. So that was really cool. Play. And I'm sure that that's like in yeah. reference to Ronda Rousey uh, voicing the character. Yeah. Uh, they also revealed that the boss is going to be a female for the first time. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Chronica. Chronica. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Garrus, the new character, is is uh, what, a follower of hers? I guess he's like a right-hand man yeah. because he has a very, in terms of a, his look mm -hmm. and his powers are mm -hmm. very similar to hers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it's very interesting. I guess the, the play here is that this character, this Chronica lady, has been watching over mm -hmm. the the characters of Mortal Kombat since the very beginning. Okay. So they're trying to do a little something with the story of since Mortal Kombat 1, mm -hmm. this character has been around working behind the scenes, orchestrating everything. So, um, yeah, I don't know. NetherRealm has been doing a great job. Mm -hmm. They've been on a roll since Mortal Kombat 9, not just in terms of the gameplay, but the story as well. Mm -hmm. So I expect this to be... Um, Another cool expansion of the lore for the Mortal Kombat franchise. Okay. Yeah. Did you? Did they have an event for ten? I don't know. Okay. I, I, if, but, if you they did, did, but you didn't go. I didn't go. If and and did. if they did, I don't think it was anything of this scale. Yeah. I mean, this was huge in the sense of like, it was all over my yeah. uh, my social media and yeah. stuff. And this was you know not necessarily uh, like all like video game people. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So like it, Cody Rhodes was there. Yeah. And, they definitely hit the the general mass. Mm -hmm. Pop. You met the uh, original Scorpion from the movie. Yeah, so at one point during the event, someone walks over to me, and he's, <laughs> he sees a picture of Scorpion on a wall, and he's like, oh, do you like Scorpion? And I was like, yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, Scorpion's great. And he's like, what do you think of the Mortal Kombat movie? And I was like, are you kidding me? It's the greatest video game movie <laughs> of all time. And he looked at me, he was like, I'm Scorpion. And I was like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. And then he does the stance, and I was yeah. like, okay, oh, that's Scorpion. You know? And it, it, was, it was crazy. That was yeah, awesome. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yes, the original Mortal Kombat. The OG. The, 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 oh, the yeah. sequel, not, not, not so much. No. <laughs> uh, uh, but, you know, supposedly they're making a new movie. They're making an animated, yep. uh, was it a movie, an animated movie? Yeah. Uh, so a lot of big stuff happening mm -hmm. for Mortal Kombat. Any, any last things that you guys want to talk about for the Mortal Kombat 11 event? Uh, no. In terms uh, of things you saw, what people can expect, uh, anything well, we, we got a live stream coming on January 30th, okay. and they did a tiny little tease of a character we might expect to see during that live stream. And I mean, uh, from what I understand, because we're so close to launch here, they're going to be revealing characters left and right. There was mm -hmm. only like six playable characters on the okay. roster at the uh, at the build. So 
they, there's going to be a lot of Mortal Kombat 11 news coming out. And then they did announce the beta will be launching uh, March 28th. Mm-hmm. So for those who pre-order the game, you get access to the beta. And that will be starting March 28th. Nice. Well, I just hope they Kenshi makes his return because honestly, <laughs> the only character I'm Kenshi I can cool, go man. online and, and actually yeah. fight people with it. So and they, like the different things you can customize yeah. them with would be awesome. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm yeah. hoping they, they throw them in there. But I, overall, I had a, a great time and, yeah. and that that hourglass thing that they gave us that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, I I thought that was dope. That, so that and then the last thing they showed as well was there is going to be a collector's edition this mm-hmm. time around. They didn't do that for Injustice Two. Um, so we're finally getting a collector's edition for MK11, and it's cool. It's like, it's like a big stand, and it's mm-hmm. Scorpion's mask, and uh, I think it's okay. wearable. I don't know for sure though. I haven't seen it up close, but also, it looks like you could wear it. Also, they so there was like different sections after the the pro players got to. They like asked people to volunteer to to come up on stage and play. <laughs> and of course, I don't know why I I even like my hand. I just had a like I was like oh somebody's like do something. I raised my hand and they picked me. <laughs> so I had to go on stage and I played and got my ass beat. So. <laughs> That, that was cool, but it, it was fun though. Like I didn't, I, I played with Raiden's, but um, it, it was dope. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah. but I want to rematch whoever. I, I forgot who played me, time. but that, that was I was that was stupid. <laughs> I was mad at myself after that. that. So now I want to just go and just train until next time. Yeah, nice. All right. Well, you guys had a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wish I could have been there, uh, but uh, maybe next time, maybe they'll have Mortal Kombat 12. You know, yeah. some other. <laughs> I hope some they do years. something like this for if they do plan another injustice. Yeah. I hope they do something like this. I'm wondering yeah. if this is going to be the norm now. I know, like, like I've been to Call of Duty stuff, mm-hmm. and, and obviously it, you definitely need a, a franchise that has a big f- existing fan. Right. Like, like I, I guess you could do something like an event like this for something like Anthem that's coming out soon. Mm-hmm. But Anthem is not a, you know, it's not a franchise that has been established yet. It's an original yet, IP, so yeah. To get, yeah, people will be excited to come play it and test it and see it, but it's not. It wouldn't have that kind of fanfare of like, oh my god, this that because yeah. everything's new, right? Right. And and part of the the fun with this event was everyone's a fan of Mortal Kombat, so they want to see which one of their favorite characters is coming back. Mm-hmm. You know, when when you see Sub Zero, who everyone knows Sub Zero is going to be in the game, mm-hmm. he's one of the faces of the franchise. But even then, when you saw him revealed, everybody like, was, yeah. everybody was screaming. I was like, yeah, yeah, come on. It's like, I mean, <laughs> duh, he's going to be yes. in it, you know? But yes. still, it's great. It's yeah. great to see. It's like at Comic-Con when they show the trailers and, like, an, uh, one of the characters that they know that's going to be in the movie yeah. shows his face in the trailer. Too. <laughs> People go crazy. All right, uh, let's move on to uh, the next topic. The next topic is... EA cancels open world uh, Star Wars game. So I don't know if you guys heard about this, yeah. but um, this was a game that used to be under Visceral Games mm-hmm. uh, at EA, and then that that studio uh, shut down, and then they they were it was under the leadership of the Uncharted director Amy Hennig. Okay, but uh, she recently left EA to form her own studio. Yeah, so. They, there was a lot of speculation about, you know, what was happening with this game because a lot of people are excited because, you know, obviously they had Battlefront and Battlefront is mm-hmm. a different, that's a different type of game. That's, it's an online multiplayer, you know, in the vein of a... Of like Battlefield. Yeah, mm-hmm. Battlefield yeah. And, and that type of thing where it's, it's, it's a Call of Duty or whatever. You're going out there, you're fighting other people and you're just dying and then coming back. It's and large scale, yes, it's not a story, of players. It's not, it's not a story yeah. driven game. Yeah. And so this was a game probably for, for people like me that was more excited about like, okay, we get to experience a, a different world with stories and characters because, you know, I love the Knights of the Republic. I don't – this was going to be more of an action game than an RPG game. Yeah. It was going to be, uh, I think, open world. Uh, but, yeah, uh, they – the report is now that it has been canceled. Uh, they know, I don't think EA, EA came out with a, a statement – that didn't say like, oh yeah, it's canceled. But the statement they released essentially was like, oh yeah, there's been a lot of speculation and blah blah blah. There's a lot of cool things that we're doing with Star Wars, and we haven't announced them yet. Yeah. Uh, but they didn't like say no. <laughs> this has not been canceled. Uh, so this, this, it's, it, it's EA and Star Wars. It's uh, hasn't been working out. It hasn't like Star Wars Battlefront. Mm-hmm. Rocky launch, yeah. uh, Battlefront Two. You think they might have learned, might have learned their lesson? Definitely not. 
Um, I, I I have a lot of hope for mm-hmm. what we got coming hopefully later this year. What With is that? The Fallen Fallen uh, Order. Yeah, yeah. I, it's I have supposedly a lot of hope. coming out. Yeah, it's it's the guys who did Titanfall, right? Yeah, respawn. So I I have hope for that, but uh, this is uh, this this is sad news. An open world Star Wars game is like. Come on! <laughs> That's yeah, just I think you're supposed to be like a bounty. Hun- yeah, it's oh, like no. a bounty hunter yeah. and kind of the underworld, of, the underbelly of the Star Wars universe. Mm-hmm. Less about, uh, I think, less about like Jedi's and kind of like the 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 stories that we follow in the main saga films. Yeah, but more of like a fringe type of mm-hmm. of stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's like it's one of those things that I you know I wish was still happening. Um, the you don't think they, this has to do with anything like because of what's going on in the actual like the the Star Wars movies or anything like that just because of what's like solo or anything? I, don't think I, so. I doubt it. I don't think so because the stories I don't think connect at all. I no. think it's more of a hey, we're you know we've done Battlefront, we have some pro- yeah. issues with Battlefront. Uh, we don't know if this game is going to do well. I don't know. Yeah. I I I personally was excited for it. It been you know. It's one of those things that has been talked about a long time. They had shown mm-hmm. like uh, early screenshots of early builds mm-hmm. of it, and it was you know it just showed your character in, in you know in a in a world that you can explore. So that's what I was excited yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's super unfortunate because that's like the recipe for success. You just say open world, mm-hmm. Star Wars, print money. You just print mm-hmm. money at that point. I mean, come on. I, I it's it's disappointing, but. Yeah, it's, it was story driven, really single do. player. It's just it's one of those things where it's like you felt like you know you, I don't know. I it wasn't going to be Knights of the Old Republic, I know, mm-hmm. but it was. It felt like that was more along the lines of what they were trying to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. With it, so all right, uh, let's move on to the next topic. Uh, we've got Uncharted the movie with Tom Holland, mm-hmm. which I'm still confused. Yeah. Uh, well, I love I'm Tom Holland, but I, I, I still don't understand why <laughs> yeah. the Uncharted movie he is starring in uh, lands uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane director Dan Trackenberg, mm-hmm. who most famous in the video game world because he did the Portal fan film, which yep. kind of helped launch his career because yep. I know he was hosting a lot of like uh, uh, kind of uh, podcasty type shows mm-hmm. or whatever. On the internet, and then he made this short film that kind of, kind of launched him. And he was able to use that as kind of like an example, uh, for to to get bigger gigs. And then he got the Ten Clover Phil Lane, which did very well. Yeah. Uh, so he will be taking over because I think originally Sean Levy, uh, yep. from Real Steel. He also uh, does a lot of stuff with Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. He said uh, he couldn't do it because of schedule reasons. I mean, this movie like originally wasn't Mark Wahlberg gonna do it? And, I think so. Uh, and uh, why am I blanking on the director's name? Um, God. Um, the director of Three K, David O. Russell. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. He was originally going to do it with Mark Wall, and then I don't know. And then people were talking they, about Bradley they Cooper up before, right? Mark Wahlberg and David yeah, O'Russell. Yeah, yeah. They did uh, the Fighter, yeah. and they did. Uh, what else did they do? Was it was it just that? Did they do another one? I think they did uh, another one. Because the fighters, fantastic. Yeah. yeah so yeah. like that was one iteration. I don't know. This this game has been. What do you guys think of Dan Trackenberg coming onto this project? I like that because he's a video game fan. Yeah. Um. There was like a clip that released online that he retweeted from like 2007 where he said like I want to do an Uncharted movie. Okay. okay. So so he he seems to be a big fan of the franchise. I really don't understand what what the whole play is with Tom Holland. I mean, if they're trying to go Uncharted Four route, where we had, um, or I don't know if it was Uncharted Three or Four, one of the one of the two, where there's a lot of flashbacks mm-hmm. That's to four. when Nathan Drake was younger. Four, yeah, it's right. Four. Um, to when Nathan Drake was younger. So then I can understand. Mm-hmm. But I guess if they're having Tom Holland, they're probably just going to do Nathan Drake when he was a kid, and then maybe have a sequel when he's older. I don't know. It would have been great if they did. Basically, Uncharted Four as a movie, mm-hmm. and just had an older version of Nathan Drake and Tom Holland played the younger version for the flashbacks. But I don't understand. I mean, this is such an easy movie to make. It's just an adventure film, you know. Just basically make a modern day Indiana Jones. I, I yeah, and I you know, why and it's then Nathan be so Fillion had been always, you know, talked about. They did that short film. Yeah, as they well. did the short film, and so it's so I was imagining. I, 
not necessarily him in the role, but someone similar to him. That in charisma. The role. Yeah. yeah, an older, yeah. an older person yeah, yeah. like Tom Holland. I do not think of as Indiana Jones. Right. I can see Chris Pratt as Nathan Drake. Yeah, they talked about you know? him for Indiana Jones as right. well. Just right. so. Uh, I, I do like this pick uh, of Dan Trachtenberg as the director. I agree. Yeah. Just interesting because, you know, usually it's, since it's a franchise film, it's different. But, like, you know, a lot of times the director comes on and then they they have the casting choices. Uh, like, okay, but he's coming on with, with the lead actor already yeah. in place. Yeah. So. I feel yeah. like they're just sticking with just sticking with Tom Holland because they know, like, he he's blowing up. And I, yeah. I, don't, I don't know, maybe the, the studio themselves don't have that much not they don't have as much faith in the franchise itself with mm-hmm. the movie so they're like yeah we have to get a big a-list star to accompany it but honestly i would have rather i mean i'm uh, like uh, like uh, like you're saying like i think tom holland's a fine actor but mm-hmm. i would have liked somebody else in the role especially for nathan right. drake like it like you said if they were doing uncharted 4 like you get flashbacks forward flashbacks backwards yeah. and yeah that works but i would have liked somebody older to we were starting from the, the floor. Yeah, right there. it says it's going to chronicle uh, drake's first encounter with the professional rogue sullivan Oh, okay, so, yeah, Sully, yeah. That's that's why they, they chose a younger actor. I mean, so. I'm, I'm intrigued. Like, it's a, it's a great director, Dan Trachtenberg. Like, he, he did um, mm. 10 Cloverfield Lane. I loved 10 Cloverfield Lane. And he directed my favorite episode of Black Mirror. Uh, play Playtest, yeah. Yeah. So Wait, Which a, one is that? That's the one where he does, like, it's like a real life video he, game you know yeah it's like a VR or yeah. whatever and he goes to that horror house and it, it, oh wait it's, that, it's the white guy that with it's like, the guy from 22 Jump Street yeah yeah wait <laughs> did you ever watch 22 Jump Street I did watch 22 Jump Street you know the, 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 the bro guy the that, that, that that's Channing Tatum's like after he ditches oh, what? oh shit okay yeah, that episode yeah. with the with the black girl yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah okay I'll watch that one yeah, yeah. yeah. okay so wait, he that that okay okay mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. All right. So I mean, I, I'm I'm a big fan of his, uh, and Tom Holland's a great actor. It's nothing against Tom Holland. It's just um, I don't understand why we're starting here. I mean, I guess it makes sense if mm-hmm. we're starting here, but then you're banking on the idea of this being a franchise. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Do the and, one. And Tom movie. Holland has got to do a bunch of films. Right, right. Right. So like, do the one movie that that would be the proper justice to the the story and the character of Nathan Drake. And then if it makes money, then maybe you can do get Tom flashback. Holland and do the flashbacks. The prequel and or whatever. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, I'm I'm intrigued, but I don't know how to feel about yeah. the, uh, the the way they're taking the story. Okay. I mean, you're a huge Uncharted fan. What do you think? I, like I said, I think this, I don't know. I'm in the middle. Cautiously, yeah. I'm cautiously optimistic yeah. because I trust, I, I trust. Tom Holland as an actor, yeah. and it, like you said, if he if he's been wanting to do an Uncharted movie since 2007, then he's very passionate about it, yeah. and he's going to. I I hope he does it justice, and so maybe we like the first movie, they knock it out of the park, and we get, we do get this three mm-hmm. four movie franchise where they can really explore and, and we can see Tom Holland grow into the role more instead of just maybe. Yeah, so yeah. I, I I'm I'm cautiously optimistic to. Mm-hmm. Th- that's the best way yeah. I can put it to see yeah. if, if they're gonna, especially because it's a video game movie, yeah. and will they be able to break the video game movie curse? So I it's know. like it, there's so many things playing against it, and, and I, I'm I'm just trying to be optimistic because yeah. there's 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 some. I mean, wrong and having for it. yeah, with the Trackenberg on board, it gives me more hope. You know, yeah, if he's a fan yeah. and also of the previous work that we've seen him do before, mm-hmm. his his style and his experience lends itself to this type of movie yeah. and hopefully hopefully it works out. Do you out. think Uncharted will work better as a, a TV series or do you think movies are the no, right? No, I, I think th- it works as a movie because honestly like yeah, the Uncharted games they have a very long story yeah. but they can be condensed. You know, a lot of what makes Uncharted great is these massive set pieces, mm-hmm. the great action set pieces. You know, everyone remembers the train dangling off the cliff. Everyone remembers all the crazy moments from the Uncharted series, right? So I think it works as a film I just don't understand why they want to take the route of the young Nathan Drake mm-hmm. because that is the least familiar storyline we have of the character. So um, honestly, like, although I don't think Mark Wahlberg would have been the best for the role, that was probably, in my opinion, whatever the best version of this movie would have been with him teaming up with David O. Russell. But we'll see. You yeah. know, I, I won't. I won't say it's going to be bad until I see yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah, know, obviously. we'll wait till that first trailer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, here's a, here's a topic that I just want to discuss. Maybe even more in general, uh, a bigger picture thing is. So Netflix, they they are calling uh, Fortnite a bigger competitor than <laughs> HBO. They're saying that that 
uh, they're they're fighting for consumer screen time, both mobile and television, yeah. and they see Fortnite as a bigger competitor mm-hmm. than HBO. And I, I, <laughs> I guess I know I know where they're coming from, yeah. and I understand what they're talking about because they're just saying, look in general, uh, when you're talking about let's say movies in the theater, uh, television on home, watching yeah. YouTube videos, playing yeah. video games. All this is definitely a person only has a finite amount of time, free time to to dedicate to these things. And so right. they have to pick and choose what they do. Mm-hmm. Um, so I understand it from that point. But at the same time, like, I feel like when you feel like in the mood to play a game or, or whatnot, it's I don't know. I, I just don't know if that's a one-for-one comparison of like, okay, well, I'm going to play Fortnite instead of watching Netflix, where Netflix yeah. and HBO is more like, well, I'm going to watch something on HBO now, or I'm going to watch something. Cause I, I guess for me, personally, either I'm in the mood to, to play and focus on games, or I have yeah. enough time to play some games, or I'm in the mood to watch some television, or I'm in the mood to watch a movie, or, or something like that. So I guess, at least based on myself, I don't I don't see that so much in competitor. I know that what they're talking about is like for screen yeah. time, but I, I don't know. I, I just don't know if it works that way. What do you guys feel? Uh, I understand because mm-hmm. Fortnite is so huge, but games are huge. You yes. know? Yeah, but it's just it's just the there's more of a broad spectrum here. So I get what they're trying to say, what Netflix is trying to say, um, but. I feel like this is more just them trying to just shit on maybe. HBO. Be like, y'all aren't competition to us. We have we have <laughs> other things. They're kind of like so, throwing shade. You know, like we have HBO. other we have other things HBO's to worry about. Batting practice, like we don't got to worry about those. Guys, like this you know? free game is more competition to us than yeah. than an HBO. Like your streaming service HBO. Yeah. So I, I yeah I'm I'm kind of the same. Most like I know what they're saying, but it's. I, I don't know. I just I don't see the comparison because yeah. when I, like like you Dennis, when I'm at home, if I'm like, all right, I'm gonna play a video game. I'm not just sitting there like, oh wait, I can't play this video game because I need to watch Netflix right yeah, now. Yeah. It's like I'm I'm gonna play the video game first, and I'll be yeah, like, all right, yeah, yeah, and you'll be yeah. thinking about which game you're gonna yeah. play versus, yeah. oh, I'm, am I gonna play a game or I'm gonna watch whatever show mm-hmm. or, or whatnot. Most and, most of the time for me, oh, sorry, Caboose, yeah, it's just like ahead. I'm like on. I have a Roku TV, so it's like mm-hmm. Hulu and Netflix and stuff like that. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah. so I'm like the more competition for me is like, oh wait, do I want to watch something on? Let me see what's on Hulu right now. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Oh, Brooklyn Nine Nine's on Hulu, so let me go watch this on Hulu right now. Yeah. So like, that's the more competition for me than than like when I think of competition for Netflix, I don't think net, like Fortnite think, at, yeah. I, I, at all. Yeah. Yeah, I I just think it's it's more of what mindset you're in at that particular time, and yeah. like for me, do I watch things on mobile? Yeah, but most of it are, is short videos, right? Mm-hmm. YouTube. It's a, once in a while if I know like I'm stuck in a place, not at home, and like have to sit and wait for something, then maybe I'll yeah. like throw on a a TV episode mm-hmm. or, or or whatnot. Um, but. Yeah, it's it's not a like okay, well I'm just gonna play you know Fortnite or I'm gonna play yeah. you know or watch this. So. Usually I have like the best or well, not like the best, but like I usually I just do a mix of both. You know, mm-hmm. whenever I'm done with the day, mm-hmm. play a little bit of Fortnite. I'm about to go to bed, throw on Netflix. You know. Yeah, and, and, and basically Netflix is doing. They're basically a newer version of HPL, right? They're yeah, pretty much. They, they, they do premium content, original yeah. premium content. And yeah. That's how HBO, you know, went beyond just showing new movies, mm-hmm. which you know, most people nowadays don't. That's just an added bonus, really. It's it you're you're paying, whether it's HBO or Showtime or or whatnot, you're paying for original programming. Yeah. You, you want to see, and, and Netflix has you know has been pumping more money, so they have a lot more original programming yeah. than HBO. Uh, so in terms of quantity uh, perspective, they definitely have more than HBO. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you can debate quality depending on you know what you're in for, but definitely quantity, Netflix has that in spades. Right. So yeah. I think Disney Plus is going to be the Netflix's biggest competitor yeah, once oh, they yeah. roll, roll around. Uh, so Netflix needs to just yeah. chill out and focus on the future. Yeah. So instead of throwing Listen, shade. I'm I'm still lobbying for that Hawkeye show on Disney Plus. So <laughs> Hawkeye hey, with Marvel, Kate Bishop. Hear me? Hawkeye with Kate and she, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. let's get it done. <laughs> and as a, a side note, Netflix is raising prices. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah, bro. I heard about I that. I heard this I, was I, for the US though. 
Is this? Oh, a, so you're good, Caboose. I think I'm good. You'll get it soon. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll get it's it coming soon. our way soon enough. Yeah, for don't sure. worry. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they're raising their prices. Uh, let me see here. I think how this Netflix prices. Uh, up to fifteen dollars a month. So they just very slowly. Eleven dollars. Yeah, the eleven dollar plan is going to be thirteen dollars. Okay. Uh, they are kind of like in like business insiders are talking like once you cross that fifteen dollar price point, that's when dangerous territory. Yeah, yeah. because right now if you want HBO, it's fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. I have Showtime, that's ten ninety nine. Uh, I know. I think Stars is like eight ninety nine a month. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just did CBS All Access, so I could watch Star Trek Discovery. That's nice. five ninety nine a month. So, you know, once you get into past that fourteen ninety nine, that's when people start going, "Hmm, is that really <laughs> worth it?" You know, yeah. and, you know. And so it's just one of those things where, and then you're right with something like Fortnite. That's a free game to play. Right. I mean, you you pay for other things if you. But it's only to, cosmetic. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Which I have not done. Have you? Have you? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a problem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, I you know I don't spend a ton of money on it, but I, I like it, to it's get cosmetic cool. only, or does yeah. it uh, actually benefit? Uh, no. Doesn't okay. benefit the gameplay okay. at all. Okay. Doesn't, then what's it, the point of the battle pass? That the, doesn't benefit. The battle pass. It's just cool costumes and things that okay. you can get, and it's at a discounted price. Yeah, I just much. got that just because some. I think somebody told me like if you have a regular, if you just have the normal like default skin, they know like they know to that touch that. Yeah, you're yeah, 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 <laughs> you're you get, get out well, there. So now it's been flipped in that there's so many people with skins. So it's like if you see someone who doesn't have one, it's like oh that's a good player. Mm, I haven't played yeah. Fortnite in a minute just because of Red Dead and all yeah. that. But just yeah. I'm not the best at it, and so I'm I'm, I'm tired of just getting destroyed every time. How's, yeah. your, how's your Red Dead going? I haven't, I haven't like the. I know we need weekly updates. I I need time to play. <laughs> There's been so much. Like th- I'm still at the point where I was last time. I've heard, I haven't had time to. This is an okay. intense game. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. But I'm gonna this weekend. I'm gonna dive back into it. Just because nice. it, it, when I play it, I want to sit there and play it for like a, a while and not oh, yeah, just that's like, yeah. like a minimum one hour sit down. Yeah, I, yeah. Just I'm to just chip to, away at mm-hmm. it. Because I've noticed like an hour equates to one percent on on the on the game. Pretty much. If, if you're purely uh, just playing the story. Yeah. Mode. So yeah. it's a, it's funny because you I'll play for like two hours and then like two percent like I'm like <laughs> god damn it's a lo- it's a yeah. long game but I I love it so yeah oh, so yeah. but I'll have an update for y'all next week because I'm right. gonna put in a dent this weekend nice. all right uh, Twitter questions what do we got all right so Caboose's brother I'll start off with him yes. he, he asked Ender the answer asked should gaming companies do larger reveal events like the MK one did last night also what did you like best and what could have been better from the event it all depends on yeah money. did you guys get free money. food there yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay drink yeah. free food free yeah. drinks yeah. Yes, free that food. was good that was the best yeah. part no. <laughs> um i mean it in terms of like other gaming companies it's like it all depends on money because this was definitely not the first of its kind no. for a gaming event call call of duty yeah. has done it plenty of times but for something like mortal kombat this was definitely the biggest thing they've ever done from Netherrealm or from a game of that scale. And, uh, I mean, yeah, you could definitely see it going forward, but it just depends on the franchise, the game that's specifically being shown off, and whether or not the uh, the studios or the publishers have the money to throw a show like that, you know? Yeah, and it definitely has to be, uh, like I said before, an existing fan base for yeah. something big that people will yeah. will talk about. Like and, Destiny has done a mm-hmm. huge reveal event mm-hmm. like that, you know, and, and people come and tune in and everyone wants to see it and they have a ton of people in attendance so yeah i mean we'll probably see a lot more of it in the future it just it depends on who it's coming from where we get events like that and um in terms of best and and i guess least best Mm -hmm. best thing from the show for sure for me was all the fatalities and Mm -hmm. the fatality trailer because that was like i was jumping in my seat at some of them they're they're they really went all out this time around and i mean I don't know. There wasn't really anything I didn't like from the show. Mm-hmm. It was just when they showed up the story, I think I was expecting a little bit more. Mm-hmm. All they showed us from the story was basically bridging the gap from a moment at the end of Mortal Kombat X's story mm-hmm. and then giving a little introduction to Chronica. So that was the one where I was like, okay, I thought I was going to see a little bit more from the storyline, but 
It wasn't anything I was disappointed in. Yeah. No. Don't worry. I don't. I guess um, I don't have a worse. Jokingly, I guess my worst would be there was only you said free drinks. There was only a, they only gave us two free drink tokens. <laughs> uh, okay. So that I would like maybe throw out three or four next time. <laughs> I just kept mine because <laughs> they were cool. <laughs> Should have gave them to me, but um, I guess the best part just being in, in the in the like I was right in the middle of all the screaming and uh-huh. yelling of all the reveals. I'm like, so, like, cause I'm I'm a Mortal Kombat fan, but not a diehard one. Like, yeah. some the dude in front of me literally had a Mortal Kombat uh, logo uh-huh. emblemed in his head. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, hey, you 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 gotta love I Mortal Kombat. I was like, oh, yeah. you do? Yeah, he's a profile. He's a fighter. Oh he's shit, like, he's a competitor. Yeah, oh yeah. damn, he, I, did he play? Yeah, I think so. No, I, I don't know. He, not he the exhibition. Yeah, he didn't play no, in the no, exhibition. No, no. Shadows of Forever King. But but just like the hype from all of them I was like damn like all right all right we're really in this this is awesome like just me in the heart of that that was probably the best part yeah. of it just to see so many people excited about just this, like like you said a, a pencil could have dropped and people yeah. like oh that's my <laughs> shit that was awesome so just look at that fatality yeah, yeah. the pencil dropped fatality but yeah that yeah that, that, that was probably the best part and, for me and, and speaking of pencils I tweeted this out last night okay I'm gonna I'm gonna start the the lobbying for it now oh it's John funny. Wick for DLC, oh. Mortal Kombat 11. The movie's coming out in May. Yeah. Cross promotion. The trailer, hey. the trailer I mean, just came oh, out. Hey. So, it looks yeah. so good. It looks so good. Yeah, I mean, the, movie, the movie's coming out in May. Like, mm-hmm. cross promotion, it could totally work. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. Next question is from email, email Jabik. Jab. Email Jab. Sorry. His question is, are you guys ever going to do a spoiler filled R- Red Dead Redemption? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how far you are right now. I'm just wondering. You're if we still should, like outside I'm, of I'm chapter in, two, right? Yeah, chapter two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just wondering if we should wait for you, so we, or we pull mm-hmm. Mark in mm-hmm. here. Has Mark beaten it yet? Uh, I I assume so, or at least close to. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't don't hold up for me. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll do a post. I'll do a, a spoiler spoiler for yeah, the review yeah, later yeah, I on. Think we, I think we still <laughs> will do it. I think we'll still do it. Uh, probably. I don't know. D- We'll talk to Mark and see, yeah. see. Uh, but yeah, we definitely still have that plan just because sure. I think it's it's one thing to talk about the game and it's one to like actually talk about the details. Also, the thing I love and the thing I loved about the Fallout franchise is like everyone has a different experience, mm-hmm. right? Like, well, your character did this and you did that and you chose it. You know what I mean? Yeah. What happened here? And everyone kind of, win, even though the story is the same, People take different kind of routes. There are different accomplish. endings too. Though. Oh, okay. Are, yeah, 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 based okay. on kind of the decisions you make throughout the story. So, so. it would be cool to talk yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, we will still, still do that for sure. And the last question for today is from Christopher Corcoran. He asked, "I've heard rumors that Doom Guy is going to show up in Smash Ultimate, but I think he'd work better for Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. Which game do you see him showing up in?" This guy's all you. <laughs> MK11 for sure. I mean, not that it's been teased or anything, but uh, NetherRealm loves to do their guest characters. We've seen it all the way since MK9 with Freddy Krueger. Um, and people have been tweeting a lot about Doom Guy being in MK11. So I, I could see it. I don't really... I mean, some people have been speculating that a Mortal Kombat character will show up in Smash because of the fact that MK is going to be on the Nintendo Switch and everything. So... Hmm. That could even be a possibility at this point. I forgot MK yeah. was going to be on the Switch. That's yeah. Which, so if you did end up getting the Switch, would you buy Mortal Kombat also I, for I Switch? Would, or? I would maybe buy just to see what it's like, yeah. you know, and just to have it on the road. You know, if people want to play Mortal Kombat 11 and I'm just traveling or something, that could be pretty cool. But um, but yeah, on it, I mean, I don't know. Um, Smash is just huge. Like so many people are talking about Smash Ultimate, so. Anything could happen at this point. They can they can grab a guest character from anywhere, and I don't know if there's any like evidence behind Doom Guy or if it's just pure speculation. So maybe if there is evidence, then yeah, he'll show up in Smash. But uh, I could see him being in MK11 just because of Doom being the game that it is and how much it relates to Mortal Kombat in terms of it being rated M and extremely gory and all that. So yeah. So I already talked or answered. I said my favorite or the character I'm hoping for in Mortal Kombat pops up as Kenshi. What character besides like the the old main ones? What character do you want to see? Like, are we talking like just like what, what character I want to see return? Return from the, or um, yeah, return. Noob Saibot. Okay. Sure. Yeah, he's he was so cool. What about a um, uh, guest DLC? I mean, well, John Wick. I'm all I'm all <laughs> over that. But I know you know people have been throwing out names like Pennywise, <laughs> the, the it clown. The it, yeah, no dude. Um, people throwing out names like Michael Myers or. Or Pinhead, because there, there's been a lot of horror franchise characters that show up as the guest characters. So people are thinking like they're gonna go with that route. But 
the number one pick for sure, Spawn. Uh, he's been he's been te- Todd McFarlane has said like WB Games has the rights to the character for ages. So if they truly do, come on, especially with the customization and everything, oh my god, he could work so perfectly in MK11. So. That would have been a hell of a reveal yesterday if they would have been like, oh hey, my Spawn. god, yeah. that would have been, been insane. Like, they, would, they were like, we have one more special guest after, or like, he, and he and Todd walks out, and it, that would have been crazy. <laughs> they man. kept doing that too, where yeah, they were like, like we, we have, have one, one more, more surprise special. for you, and then they show that surprise, and they were like, we got <laughs> one more surprise for you. <laughs> Yeah, well, everyone learned from uh, Steve Jobs and Apple. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. How, to, how, to, how to do those type of presentations. Yeah. Um, so, oh, wait, oh, and also, one, so um, when the Sonic Fox and them were playing, like before that, they gave away a headphone pack, and even though there it wasn't, there weren't as many people in the crowd. Like people were still hyped about it, and he was like, "We got to pick the hypest person," and like there were too many people, too many hype people. <laughs> so he just like ended up like just th- throwing this big ass box of headphones. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, I was like, all right, and then you just, yeah, I and mean, you see like like people were really trying to go after that. They're so, gonna have a real life Mortal yeah, Kombat yeah, tournament. Yeah, it was for intense, that. but it was, it was fun. People, it was fun to people watch. People love free shit, man. And I, and they were headphones too, and I was trying to. I I was in. I wasn't in the like. The, not the mosh pit, but like the, the part where yeah. they do it. But I was like, I was I was getting hyped. Like it, I think they, they got me on camera because I was like, I need some headphones like for the Xbox. I was like, come on, come on, pick me. But that was, that was fun. Yeah, it was intense. Though. Nice. You got the the hourglass though, right? Is yeah, yeah. I'm I'm bringing yeah, yeah. the office because cool. we got the hourglass, hourglass and hourglass. then it came with a cool little coin in there yeah. as well. You got a duffel bag, I saw. Well, right? yeah, that's that's what the hourglass. Oh, is called. Yeah. nice, yeah, yeah. nice. That's a, a a nice sturdy duffel bag. Yeah, yeah. doesn't, doesn't yeah. look cheap. Doesn't look like the the fall I, hope I, have, I hope I don't have too much bag. trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't have too much trouble with the airport. You know, they're like, "Why do you have an hourglass?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was right though. Every episode, you find a way to, to throw yeah, some final yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be an awesome game in eight months. Yeah, eight months. Yeah. I'll be eating my words. I mean, hopefully, we all are. I want to see that game succeed. You know? It's it, it's all. It has tons of potential. Yeah. It's just they. Too early. You never want to see a game fail. Like no, no matter well, what not my is. favorite franchise. I fall out of my favorite I mean, franchise. For sure. For you. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, because you know, that's the that's the thing is that when I think about like going around in Red Dead Redemption 2, like it's you know, obviously it's all the NPCs that you're playing with that, yeah. that brings life into the world. And yeah. if, if there's no NPCs, then it's just you. Yeah, it's just you. And then you know, it, let's say you know it's an o- open world thing. Yeah, there's other care- people there, but the, most people aren't talking to you at all. Like when you, me, and played, we did, we ran in a couple people and yeah. nodded their heads, and that was about That's it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. So and the enemies that you face are just kind of mindless yeah, zombies yeah. or robots. And, it's and just, there's no. I never felt like, at least like with the Red Dead Online, like you you can play missions together and you go there and there's like an actual like oh you got to go save this person. Yeah. And there's like an objective, and all these people are protecting, and then you got to get this, you know. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully that gets fixed. Uh, I'm just trying. To, what, what's the next big game coming out? Uh, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts three. Kingdom yeah. Hearts three. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people talking about Kingdom Hearts, and then um, and then I, th- I is there anything in February? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty there, sure is there is that I just can't remember. Yeah. But I know March is going to be a big month. Um, yeah, it's like the, a lot of big games have been front loaded to like the first quarter of this year, so. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good couple months I for games. I am excited for Rage Two. Yes. We'll have a, okay. a, we'll have a video okay. for that yes. next yes. week. But <laughs> but yeah, I, I I saw. Unfortunately, I already spent my money. But uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, is, I think it's twenty four ninety nine right now. Mm. That's like a, a steal for right. for a game like that. Yeah. Pick it up. Yeah. Like so. on the on the like store or. Uh, I'm not. Let me take a look. But it was. I, your boy's got some credits after that <laughs> Red Dead Redemption. After buying that, I have some credits uh, left over. Oh, uh, do you? Yeah, so let me get that. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was see. like one of the best games last year. So okay. that's for, for twenty four ninety nine. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's a good price. I mean, right now on Amazon, it's showing for twenty four ninety nine. Nice. But, here, hold on. Oh, GameStop as well. Hold on. Is it just on sale in general though? I think so. But, nice. But I don't see like a. It may be digital or it may be just a hard copy. Okay. Right? If it's more expensive on digital, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> so you should check it out. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'll do that look. tonight. Yeah, I'll see, yeah. see what's yeah. up. Yeah. Definitely, I, I think, worth it. It was even for me, like, yeah, I can complain now that it, that I spent 
uh, 50, 60 bucks on it, but yeah. it it's definitely a 50, 60 dollar value of mm-hmm. a game. You know, mm-hmm. it's just even better value right now. Twenty four nine eight. Another thing I forgot from the Mortal Kombat event: there was a tattoo. There was a tattoo spot. Yeah, but they were they were actual real tattoos. Oh, it wasn't like the yeah, fake one. It that wasn't you like got the it. fake one I got at Venom because yeah. I was in line for yeah. it and then I got up. To- <laughs> <laughs> They're like, <laughs> wait, did real. you wait until you actually? No, got like, there? I got to the. I, I got there and then and then I like looked across and I saw the knee like the knee. I was like, yeah. hold on, like that's a that's real. A real t- <laughs> <laughs> They were like, yeah, it's a real tattoo. A I was like, oh, wait, it. no. You're, 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 you're like, I'm not that hardcore. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. I'm surprised how many people actually did got go a and tattoo. get a yeah. tattoo. There was yeah. a, and the guy was quick. Like, it's a super detailed tattoo. That's you get why the I thought it was fake. Yeah, I know. And it was, like, done in an hour for most people. It was Bro. like, wow. Like, okay. I almost, like, I wasn't, like... I, I, would, I was I pissed. I was pissed. I got up there. I was like, "Oh wait, these are actual <laughs> yeah, tattoos." As, as, as much as I love Fallout, I'm not getting a Fallout tattoo. That and like they had that destroy room where you could just go in there and <laughs> smash stuff. I didn't uh, do and, it, but I, I, have you no. ever heard of that? Where like you just go into a room, you wear like protective gear, they give you a I baseball mean, I've bat. I've heard and you of go like nuts. that type of side. I didn't yeah. know they had one. So uh, they had one there, and, and it's right next to kind of the the press area. Mm-hmm. So I was in the press area just doing some work. And like I would hear smashing, mm-hmm. and every time I would look over, like, oh man, someone dropped something, yeah. you know. But like, no, it was just people going nuts in that room. It was, uh, it was, it was really cool. There was a lot yeah. of stuff to do there. I wanted, yeah, I wanted to do. There was a, there was a line for that one though. I wanted to do the the smashing yeah. thing, but also I'm not in the best shape, so I didn't want to embarrass <laughs> myself and not end up breaking anything. I know that's the worst. It's like you go in there and you're trying to hit stuff as hard as you can. Mm. So basically, it's like office. Though. Yeah, yes. from office. Yeah. yeah, nice. All right, uh, that's it for this episode of the Collider Games podcast. Uh, we will be here again next week. Unfortunately, Caboose, I'll be on webcam again. Yeah, you'll be on <laughs> Skype again, but hopefully we can get you down here. Probably E3, maybe? Are yeah. you coming to E3? Yeah, for sure. Okay, for so sure. probably E3, which is scary. It's not even that far off I know. anymore. I know. It's close. It's June. What, June. June. Damn. Yeah. Hey. Damn, we're, we're, gonna, gonna, we're gonna be we're gonna be busy. Time has flown. Yes. Holy yeah. shit. Don't you feel like we just did E3? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, I'm, I, I was talking to you about it in the car. I I was yeah, we were just talking E3 about like is where how like, drained I was. Yeah. Like just that whole week, it was yeah. just nonstop. It was a long ass week. E3 is where it all started with uh, with me and, and Collider Games. Nice. So yeah, it's it's been pretty damn. Cool. It's been pretty cool. The time yeah. has flown. Yeah. So we're definitely gonna be covering that, and we'll have I'm sure a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Doing that. And oh yeah. All right, guys. Uh, Dorian, where can people find you? You already know. You can find me on Twitter at Dorian Parks and Rec because Parks and Rec is better than The Office, but also watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> and also you can find me on Instagram at Dorian Parks. Uh, Caboose, can... for the first time in the studio. Yes, for the first time in the studio. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Caboose EK and right here on the Collider Games channel. And you guys can find me on Twitter at Think Hero or Instagram, Dennis.TZNG. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Collider Games. Also subscribe to our podcast it's actually underneath the collider factory feed we're here every week thursdays fridays is yeah. usually when we post depending on what kind of like we could have done one yesterday but the mortal Kombat event was happening right mm-hmm. right and so we wanted to wait until you guys were done with that to mm-hmm. do it today and mm-hmm. and so yeah it depends but uh, definitely every week weekly and then we're you know we're gonna start doing some other stuff here as well uh so until next time i'll see you guys later